Hey, how's it going? I hope you're doing really fabulous today. And if you're not doing fabulous, that's okay too, because guess what? The human experience is a roller coaster. Some days are great and some days are not. So if you're not having a really great day, you're totally normal and that's acceptable. So <clears throat> it's July 4th weekend coming up and I was talking to the, the family that's that lives, their vacation home is right behind my business, which is where I'm filming this today. And I ask, I always, I love to ask people, how did you sleep? <laughs> because it's just a nice way to say, hey, I care about, I care about if you slept well or not. And um, it's something that you can chat with people about. And the family, there was a mom and a couple of daughters and they were just like, we are so tired. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like the energy is really intense. I, I'm feeling the desire and need for a lot of rest. So if you're feeling that you want to rest over this quote unquote holiday weekend, by all means, knock yourself out. Because we have been some sort of like programmed to think that we're supposed to be, you know, vacationing and doing all this stuff because it's the certain season. But a few, about a month ago, I had just returned, not even a month ago, I returned from Southern California and I felt like I had been hit by a truck. What was happening is I had gotten a bunch of colonics and I was really going through a detoxification. I had expelled so many toxins, my body was just doing this cleanse and it knocked me out. So sometimes feeling knocked out is, is a good thing because your body is healing itself. Your body is expelling things it no longer needs, and that's why we get colds and such. So sometimes when we are having a head cold or something like that, it could be looked at as a detoxification, a good thing. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let me get to the topic of this, <laughs> of this video. If you didn't know, you probably didn't, because this is way before social media, and it was in the early 90s, early 2000s, when I came into the Navy, I was 18 years old. And if you would have looked at me when I was 18 years old, I looked like a 40 something year old. I looked old, I was swollen, I was puffy, I was very inflamed, I was extremely unhealthy. I was unhealthy in my physical body, the mind and heart, we won't even go there, but physically I was just tapped out at 18 years old. When I came into the Navy, I could barely pass the physical readiness test that we're required to do. And back in the 90s, and I think maybe still today, you have to run a mile and a half in a certain amount of time. I could barely run a mile and a half without dry vomiting, like dry heaving. I would dry heave after trying to run a mile and a half. And guess what I would go do after I would do the physical test? I'm so embarrassed to tell you this. I would go smoke a cigarette. I'm so embarrassed. I know. So a lot of people look at me as an inspiration and someone that's healthy and someone that's got things, you know, figured out and I'm imparting things onto you. And it's just like, I want you to know where I came from because it is never too late to change. It's never too late to learn. We have so much information at our fingertips. And I was very sick in the 90s, early 2000s, very, very sick. Uh, I don't really wanna go on the details of the sickness, but the state of my body had gotten so bad that it was very embarrassing, let's just say that. Things happened to me when I was working, I was out on ships, and, and I had to admit something would happen that, hey, I can't relieve you right now. I have to go take a shower because certain things have happened. My health was at the lowest of the low. I had been on ships for 10 years. I was not exposed to nature. I was not exposed to sunlight. I was not sleeping well. I was just locked indoors. I was wearing steel toe boots and I was not eating proper food. I wasn't probably drinking proper water. The list, I, I could go on. And then when I would have downtime, I would go get wasted and drink and smoke and party. I never rested. I never took care of my body. But the reason I'm saying it was a gift is because 
I was so sick that I didn't have a choice but to change. I literally could not continue on with the journey and the path of being so sick. I am thankful I got sick in my 20s because it led me on a path of learning everything that I have dove into learning up until this point in my life. And I think that we go through challenging times, whether you're in your relationship, in your career, whether you're in your own personal you know, stew of learning things, life is happening for us. We go through challenging times to learn and to grow. But when we're in the middle of that growth and learning, it can feel like we're such a victim to the circumstances. And today I just wanted to let you know that when you're feeling like a victim of these circumstances, I get it. I totally get it. However, there is beauty in the rock bottom. And I have been there multiple times on different things, but mainly the health rock bottom for me was a foundation for the healthy person I am today. Had I not gotten very sick and been in extreme pain and humiliation because of the, the state of my health, I wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be able to share what I can share with you. I would be locked away in some trailer eating Twinkies and smoking cigarettes and drinking probably a bottle of vodka every day because <laughs> <laughs> that that those things I was just using to numb the pain. I was using food and alcohol and anything I could get my hands on to numb like where I had gotten myself. It was my responsibility. It was my choices that got me to where I was so sick. Now, what I didn't realize and and I'm really excited to share is like nature is such a healing force. When we are stuck indoors and our feet aren't touching the ground and we're not seeing sunlight and we're not interacting with plants and the air, we can really um, separate ourselves from what gives us life and that's nature. So if there's just one thing that you could do today for your health, it's just go outside. <laughs> then you take your shoes off, walk on the ground. But I was so sick and so debilitated in my mind and my body that I had no choice but to learn. So if you are really sick right now, if you're feeling defeated with your health, I want you to know that you have a choice to decide. This can be a starting point of a new way of living. And a lot of times when we have accidents, injuries, I always say uh, every injury that I got and it debilitated and it hurt my body, it was something that I had to learn. So we can look at things one way or we can look at things another way. Injury is a starting point for learning something about ourselves. Sickness is a gift of reflecting of something that needs to change. We are only victims of our circumstances by choice. Life is always, always happening for us. And in the process of being sick or being hurt, what we have to must do is reach out to teachers, to healers, to mentors, to people that have walked the path before us that know more information. And today, we have so much access to teachers and people online. There is no reason that we cannot learn and grow because we have information at our fingertips. I was lucky enough <clears throat> to to get introduced to colon therapist and I went to massage therapist and so many people that had so much wisdom. And now I know that you can learn it online, but don't hesitate to go and see someone in person and be with someone that you can learn from. And if you haven't learned by now, sometimes maybe the medical industry isn't the exact way to go that it could be more of a natural way of healing that's gonna be best for you. If there's any questions or comments that come up about your process and your healing and where you are, I'm so happy to help you. Please reach out with a message, with a comment. If you've overcame something, you can share it below because we are all going through this massive healing process and we can't do it alone. We can't stay locked up in our house and be just online we have to connect. We can connect through communication with one another. We can share our struggles 
and know that we are not on this path alone. And I will be with you every step of the way to encourage you because I am only the person that I am today because I got sick. I am only as healthy as I am today because I hit a rock bottom. And I hope that this can encourage you and please share this video with anyone else that may be struggling or suffering and think that they're at the end of their, you know, at the end of their journey that they're hopeless because that we we only decide to be hopeless uh, when we decide that. Never let a medical professional tell you that you can't heal. Never let a doctor tell you that you only have a certain amount of time to live or to enjoy something. You are the determiner of your health. You are the captain of your ship. Only you can determine that. So hopefully um, you can rest and recover through the weekend. And just because it's a holiday weekend doesn't mean that you have to do anything. You can rest, you can recover, you can heal, you can be alone, you don't have to be with people. You can do whatever it is that you need to do to make yourself feel the best. I'll, I'll close with this. One of my favorite quotes from a buddy of mine, he said, don't should all over yourself. Because we can, we can put all these shoulds on ourselves and think that I should do this and I should do that and I should do this. You know what? Don't shoot all over yourself. Do whatever the hell you want to do. Do what you need to do. Let people down. Become a disappointer of others and decide what it is that you need for your health and your well-being and give yourself permission and freedom to do so. All right. I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Have a great day.